Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. So today is the Wisdom Wednesday, and today's wisdom, I wanted to talk about how to tell if you're an empath. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I am an empath. <laughs> And the definition of an empath, in my own words, I would say, is someone that feels the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions of others, and someone that is um, has the ability to be able to read people. And some people may say, like, oh, that's a curse, you know, because I've told people that in the past that I thought that I was an empath. And they're like, oh, like, that's not a good thing, and this, and this, and that. And I actually think it's a gift from God. I think it's a blessing to be able to have the ability to read someone um, and you know, sometimes, you know, there are narcissists out there, and you guys know that I am studying to become a counselor for narcissistic abuse. Um, those type of people, they're really good at acting, they're good at putting on impressions, and they're good at mirroring you, so that way they can trick you into believing that they're like yourself, and they're actually not. They're just showing you, you, and so they're pretending to be you, and you're thinking like they're being normal, but they're just acting. So, uh, yeah, and it's funny because a lot of empaths and narcissists do end up dating because uh, a lot of empaths, we are givers, we are very compassionate people, very understanding, very loyal, and we see the good in people. We want to think that the, um, everybody has good in them, which is not true because there, there are evil people out there and it's... You know, nothing wrong with being evil as long as you're not evil with me and you can go and be evil with someone else. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but yeah, narcissists, they, uh, they're takers, they're leechers, they're users and manipulators and very toxic people. So yeah, um, so how to tell if you are an empath, you don't like big crowds. Uh, that's definitely a big thing for me. Like, you know, I'm 27 now. I remember like when I first moved out here from Delaware to California, um, you know, I didn't really know anybody, so it was good that I got out and started meeting people and finding people to hang out with, friends and stuff like that. And, you know, I would go to concerts like here and there, you know, just having a good time. But as I got older, I just realized like that wasn't fun for me anymore. It was more of a struggle because I was absorbing other people's thoughts, their feelings, their emotions. I could kind of like feel what people were thinking about me and then like I had I was inside of my own head like thinking thoughts so it was just too much you know and which is why today like I don't have that many friends which I'm fine with that like it's it's good to have a handful of friends because you don't want too many people around you because you know for me personally I just think that it's just it's a lot it's too much drama and I, I don't like drama I, I hate it I try to stay away from it which is why I don't watch reality shows reality like the housewives of Atlanta and all types of stuff like that I hate it like I, I like to laugh so I like to watch a lot of comedy a lot of um you know, history, documentary movies, and stuff like that. So anyway, you guys, so yeah, um, you won't like big crowds. Uh, you, uh, let's see, um, one second here. You get overwhelmed easily, kind of like what I mentioned. So, like I said, just being around all of those people is just too much. You want to, like for me personally, like, I like being by myself most of the time. Like, you know, yes, I socialize with my friends. I hang out with my friends. I travel, stuff like that. But a lot of the times, you know, um, I just, I don't like being around too many people because there's just so much going, especially nowadays, like everything that's going on in the world, a lot of people are miserable and they want to make other people miserable. They want you to feel how they feel. And it's just too much for me. I'd rather just avoid it, which is why sometimes um, I'm getting a call. That's kind of weird. I'll give them a call back. So, uh... Yeah, I lost my train of thought here. So yeah, you do get overwhelmed easily. And then the other thing is you overthink and you can be shy sometimes. And that's totally me. I, I kind of would say that I might be an introvert and extrovert too. Just I'm an extrovert with certain people. But as far as like overthinking, like, you know, with situations when you're dealing with others, like you're just overthinking it and you're trying to think of ways that maybe you could have said something differently or whatever that I just think in past we just we just do that and you know and like the average person wouldn't do that like if stuff if, if, if there was a situation that happened 
and it maybe let's say it didn't go the way as you thought it would an empath would just overthink about it and try to figure out how can we change it and just kind of keep going over and over and over in our heads but the average person would be like up oh, like whatever like on to the next and I think a lot of empaths we just we just care too much we're just um like we just want things to go perfectly and that's just us I mean <laughs> and maybe other other empaths may have different ways of doing their own thing or you know type of characteristics but you guys get what I'm saying <laughs> so um the next one I wanted to talk about is like I said you feel the thoughts and the emotions of others and you're overly sensitive and that's me 100% but I am working on being able to um, detach you know especially from the the good opinions of the the good and the bad opinions of others because what other people say about you doesn't have anything to do with you it's more so about them and how they feel about themselves and they're literally just projecting that onto you and but like I said um, the reason why or how I found out that I was an empath I want to say it was like 2015 like all along and even like living with my aunt I always felt like I was feeling things like I was feeling the emotions and the thoughts of like what was going on around me and I was like taking that on as if it was mine but I remember when I worked at Massage Envy and you know I believe I like opened the store up it was like a couple of us we all kind of came in together the store was first opening and but as time went on you know I just kind of became distant from a lot of people like I didn't want to hang out with the people that was in there because a lot of them was just negative they was just kind of gossiping and was just too much drama and everybody was like involved in it and I was just trying to distance myself because another thing the impasse we don't like going into toxic and negative environments like like I said it's just too overwhelming it's too much for us to have to like think about like what this person's thinking or how they're feeling because we take that on but um, yeah so that's how you can tell if you're an empath and if um, you know one of the ways I would say that you can kind of work on being able to protect yourself because especially in this world like so much is happening and it's like you don't want to take that energy on what somebody else is going through so I literally pray and ask God to protect me from any negative and harsh energies and shield me and especially like I, I'm a driver so I'm always picking up all kinds of people with all their different types of energy so I'm absorbing that so I just ask for God to just protect me and keep me safe away from any negative people and their energies and I always feel great and um, also just read read a uh, books about um, sensitivity empath um, psychic work and all that stuff which I'm gonna start um, uh, reading on that as well because I mean this type this type of personality it doesn't leave us like this is being an empath is like who we are like we're naturally caring kind compassionate people we understand we empathize with people we are very loving people you know and we need more people that are empaths you know because a lot of people are narcissists a lot of people are psychopaths sociopaths and they don't see anything wrong with that they're okay with that <laughs> you know what I mean so um, thank you guys for watching this video please be sure that you like and subscribe and leave a comment if you like and I'll see you guys in the next one bye